Good afternoon, everyone. I am Luther FM, as always, and uh, we are on our episode 80 now of this Wraith Rovers journey, um, where you left us off last. We are we finished the regular season. Let's do the fixtures first. We finished the regular season, um, and we won. We beat Rangers and Aberdeen. We lost to Dundee, annoyingly, even though that was the game we probably should have won out of all of them. And we drew with Hibs 2-2, which is one of our bogey teams we, we very rarely beat. Um, we're currently third, so we can kiss goodbye, basically, to the title, um, which is a shame. But we still might get second place. We're neck and neck on points with Hearts. So, logically, um, if we get second place... I mean, we can still win the title. We're four points behind Celtic, but we've got to hope. We've got to hope we beat Celtic again in the head-to-head, -head, which is coming up next, and hope that they lose. What's their fixtures? Let's have a look at their last. Let's have a look at their games. And it's the Championship playoffs now. Champions playoffs, as they call them. No, Championship group. Sorry, Championship group. So they've got Rangers and Hearts. So they've got some tough games. So it might might happen, but logically, probably not. Um, so we've got to hope that we can beat so uh, well we, we're just aiming for second now if we get third it'll be okay it would be a little bit disappointing in a way because i feel like that's not progression if we're going to progress on at least get second place and literally be very close to celtic and then we go again next season and then we try and win the champ uh the scottish premiership yeah and that'll be that really so let's just see how it goes but i'm working my way through this because we haven't had a game for two weeks um, I will just quickly go through these. But yeah, thank you to people who've been watching me. I have I've had a few people watch the the videos regular, and I really appreciate you sticking with me. I know I'm not the the most polished um, content creator, but I do appreciate it, and I hope that you're at least enjoying the the Rafe Rover save. Um, even if you're not necessarily enjoying my editing style or um, me as a host doing this. I will try and get better. I'm learning all the time. Um, watching videos all the time and trying to get better. So yeah, you just have to bear with us. This is the start of my journey. Hopefully in a, couple, in a year or two, if, you know, if I'm still doing this, which I'm hoping to do, then hopefully I'll be a lot more polished. It'll look a lot better. Um, I am going to get a proper i mean at the moment i've got a gaming laptop but i'm going to get a proper gaming computer in the next couple of months hopefully and then um i'll be moving so i'll have a, a, a proper desk so it'll look nice i can probably get some decent cameras um make it look better so yeah so just bear with us um like i said money is tight at the moment so i can't expand too much But yeah, David Meller doing well. I haven't given my thoughts on WrestleMania yet, by the way. Um, I hopefully I haven't spoiled this for anybody. I'm, just, I'm hope I've been waiting for today to talk about it because I didn't want um, anybody to get it spoiled. But um, I was really impressed with WrestleMania night one, night two, and I and I thought it was really good that most of the baby faces won as well. Um, so it gave that feel good factor. Uh, I was really happy that Cody won because I had a sinking feeling that they would have screwed him over and and just, yeah, but they didn't. So I was really happy about that. Happy for Sami Zayn. Uh, fair play to Gunther and Roman Reigns for keeping the titles and and making them titles important. Um, and also it just gives a fresh lick of paint now that Cody's the champion because there's so many challenges he's got now, people that can step up uh i for one would have paul Heyman manage brom breaker and have brom breaker just demolish everybody until he gets to cody at SummerSlam, and then maybe brom breaker wins the title but i don't think they're going to do that i think they're going to do cody versus the rock at wrestlemania next year so i think what they might do is do cody versus the rock at, at SummerSlam, have uh, the rock beat cody rhodes for the title and then have cody rhodes chase for the title until wrestlemania and then beats the rock at wrestlemania I think that's what will happen, but we'll see. Loads of things can happen in the meantime. People can get fired and, and all sorts. And uh, 
you think how 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 crazy 2000 and uh well the last 12 months sorry of being in wrestling with with the Vincent Mann stuff and all that lot. so um yeah so hopefully it'll be a, another good year for wrestling but, um we'll see it's a shame about AEW sharing that CM Punk stuff. I, I know, I know. It obviously he did, he didn't look good in that footage um, at all. But I just don't see the point in AEW doing it. So um, I can imagine CM Punk will go on TV on SmackDown or, or Raw next week and probably give his side of a thing, a side of his opinion on it, or his side of things, as they say. I just don't understand why they're doing it because it's, it's they're going to end up just focusing on this. But where's the payoff? Because they're never going to have a they're never going to they're never going to have a CM Punk versus Young Bucks match or anything like that because one they're both in different companies now, and two they hate each other. They'll never work with each other. So uh, there was a, the whole point of them starting AEW Collision was to give CM Punk his own show to keep him away from the Young Bucks and Kenny. So now they've got an extra show that they probably didn't particularly want that much. I mean, they get loads of money for it, so it's not a bad thing. But, um, yeah, I just don't understand why they released the footage as well. I just, I thought it was going to be like a like a, like a ruse, like they pretend it's the real footage and then it ends up being some just other rubbish. But even that would have been poor taste, really, to be honest. Just, I just don't. I just think it's pointless. Anyway, right, let's crack on. I've rambled on. I was just trying to waste a bit of time while I was working my way through them in boxes. <clears throat> Let me clear my throat. Right, there we go. So we've got, um, we've got, we're playing Celtic away now. Very, 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 very important game. We've got Tickling Goal. Um, Crowlin is right back. Vivas and Diaz in centre defence. Backer is left back. Chris Nicky and Hodzic in midfield. Coella on a run. And Aniamu on the left and then Hoyland up front. I think the next save I do, I think I need to pick a save where they're predominantly English names, so it might make it easier for me to pronounce. Well, not English names, because even English names are hard for me to pronounce. Just short, sweet names like like Ryan Jack, for instance, or um, Brian Roy, for instance. Oh, God, I'm dating myself now, aren't I? Um, Brian Roy used to play for Knott's Forest in the 90s. That's how old I am. <clears throat> yeah, but you know what I mean. Diaz is easy to pronounce. Vivaz is easy to now pronounce. Oh, I can't even say the word pronounce now. Um, some of these, like Bamahan and Aniyamu, have been really, really hot, uh, hard for me to pronounce. We've got to keep an eye on the heart score in this one. Hopefully we can get a, a third win against Celtic of the season, which will be remarkable. I'll be really annoyed if we don't win the title and we've beaten Celtic three times. Hoyland, he's up for this game, isn't he? I say that, but Celtic have had more shots than us. I got too excited about that. Right, still nil-nil. 28 minutes gone. Let's try encouraging the players a bit. We've got a better XG than them now. That's good. 1-1 one, one in the Yamadine and Motherwell game. Hearts are winning. Damn. Damn, 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 damn. We definitely need to be, win this game then. Unless Dundee United can do us a favour. Right, let's make some substitutions. Uh, Crowell's coming off because he's not been playing very well. Uh, actually, we can't take him off. We haven't got anybody to put on for him. We've got two left backs on the subs bench, but not a right back. That makes sense. Uh, this is probably going to end nil nil by the looks of it. Oh, they didn't like that. The players did not like that.
Right, so the triple substitutions can work their magic. You watch Celtic score now. Oh, maybe not. Go on. Get catch him on the break. Coella to Crow. Crow with a beautiful pass. Bar to Adams. Yes! Get in! Oh, sorry, Baxter. Get in! Get in! Sorry, Baxter. It's all right. I didn't hurt him. Don't worry. I just scared him. Hello. Sorry, mate. It's all right. Baxter's chilling on, on my lap. Baxter the up. He was in a deep sleep and I've just got him all bloody work. I've got him all woken up now. Very important win there. Get in. Super sub, Che Adams. It's gone back to point being slow again now. This same. My computer's, my laptop's buggered up. I don't know what's up with it. Come on, sometime today. Right, so we're still third. We're one point behind them now, though. So that's good. we just got to hope that Celtic lose. We've got to have a perfect season now. But we're qualified for the conference. We're in the top. We're guaranteed to be top three, so this is that. Right, I'll be back in a minute for the next game. We're back for part two. Um, who have we got next in the fixtures? Let's have a look. A bit like me, sometime today. What's going on? There we go. Uh, Dundee next, who we lost recently 2 0, so we want to avenge that loss. Uh, we've literally got to have a perfect run up now to have any chance of winning the Scottish title. Uh, hopefully we can do it. Just got to work our way through these as quickly as possible. Oh, he's really good, he is. 3.9 million. He's, yeah, the same. We should definitely sign him as a priority. He looks like a wonder kid in the making, he does. Now, I know this save originally started with me not signing wonder kids all the time, but I've changed my transfer policy. So, uh, there's going to be less novelty, nostalgia players now focused on trying to get the best team possible with the best prospects possible. But yeah, we might, we might pick up the occasional player if they're good enough on a free transfer. Like, you know, we, we tend to do very well on the uh, South American side when it comes to free transfers. Uh, I'm sorry this is taking so long. I don't know what's happening with my laptop today. Playing up again. It was working all right recently, the last couple of days. It might just be this save. I don't know. Um, but when I loaded FM up today, my avatar was flickering a little bit, which and it and it was really slow, and it was come to moving the mouse around. So I don't know what's happened to it. If anybody uh, can give me any ideas, please let me know in the comments section. I would appreciate it. Also, any uh, anybody that follows me on YouTube and stuff, can you just um, put a comment um, on this video and let me know which team you support? It'd be curious to know who you support. Um, just and let me know where you're from, who you support. I would appreciate that. Uh, this player is probably our best prospect by the looks of it. Yeah, not a very good youth intake by the looks of it. Especially compared to previously years. Oh, 
Holtzmeister. There you go. We're going to sign the Holtzmeister. I'm tempted to change his name to Hollywood Holtzmeister. Or Hulk. Hulk. Hulk, Hulk, Hulk no. Hollywood Holtzmeister sounds better, I think. We're at the uh, past the midweek mid yeah past the midweek point now I think um, so yes yeah, so that's good only way is up weekend before you know it right very important game I know I say this every game but this one as every game as every week goes on the games become more and more important. Right, so we got tickling goal. Ayano is right back. Vivas and Diaz are centre defence. Bakker is left back. Petrovic and Krasniki in the middle. Coella, Bart, and Ayano and Hoyland up front. So let's see how we get on. Oh, this is taking ages. I promise in time I will get better at editing so you won't have to worry about stuff like this. Right, first highlight looks like it's going to Dundee. But you never know, we might catch them on the break here. We get the possession of the ball back. We might, there we go, that's what I want to see. Aniyamu. Alright, so we're passing it around a bit here. Beautiful ball. Go on, Krasniki. Oh. Oh. Oh, I thought that was going to be a penalty then. Ah, oh, nearly. Right, Celtics winning, which is not ideal. Hearts playing Rangers, so you never know, Rangers might do us a favour in that game. We definitely got to beat these because we're way better than uh, no offense to Dundee in this game, but we're way better than Dundee. Yes, beautiful ball, bar. Oh, just trickled in nicely. Bloody hell, Hoyland with his nineteenth goal of the season. I think he's gone about. He went. I think he's gone about ten games without scoring. Nice to see him finally score one-one in the Hearts game. Yeah, if everything stays the same, we will be second. But that all depends on hearts. But we've got to concentrate on our game at the moment. When it's two nil, I can look at uh, I can look at the other schools a bit more then. Happy to stay one nil at half time. Want to extend lead in the second half though. Good uh, hearts are winning now. Balls. <sighs> Come on, Rangers. Throwing to us. Backer. And Yamo. Back to Backer. The 1 2 is going on. Beautiful cross. Look at that. Hoyland with his 20th goal of the season. Best season he's had this season. But he does have a knack of going like, near the end of the season 10 games or so without a. A goal which which is gotta stop doing. Right, there we go. Krasniki. We can afford to be a bit more expressive now because we're winning 2-0. We don't need to worry about it. Oh, nearly. Yeah. Still 2-1, two, 2 hearts and one nil to right at Celtic, so unfortunately nothing will change even if, even if we do win this game. We really could do with Rangers getting a late equaliser here. Or Dundee United. No, I don't think it's going to happen though.
all three teams are just not giving an inch in this title race. Just, every game is important to us. And the, the performance has stepped up because of it. Oh, that was lucky. That could have been 2-1 though. Come on, Rangers. Uh, so nothing changes after this game. So I'll, uh, I'll be back in a minute with the next part of the episode. Right, um, we're back. Uh, I figured out why my computer was jittering. Uh, Windows want me to update my laptop. And you know what it's like. We all know what it's like. When they want you to update the computer, they will play up your computer until you cave in and update it. So once I finish this episode, I'm going to have to update Windows so they can have their precious little update. You know what it's like. It's even worse if you've got an old, old computer. When I used to work in uh, in the office, I used to work in their computers were really old. And whenever they, whenever you had to update the computer, it would take hours just to update. It's just ridiculous. But you couldn't do your job because of the fact is that it just would the computer just wouldn't work. Runner up again, and the manager of the month. Very frustrating. I'm performing miracles here at Rafe Rovers. I should be getting manager of the month every month. Impending retirement. Ah, oh, that's a shame. At least we brought him back to the club. I think he played one game when he come back last season. Oh, we played... I know, that was at Kilmarnock. Yeah. I might have Lewis Vaughan played last game of the season. Uh, depends, really. Right, coaching course. He wants to be head of youth development, but unfortunately he's not good. At, ah, he's got good. He's got good that though. Uh, good adaptability, good determination. He's not as good as my current one though. If you look at my current head of youth recruitment, yeah, no, sorry, Lewis. Uh, yeah. Right, good player there. We'll just add him to the shortlist. Add him. Oh, we'd be a bargain free transfer as well. Ah, he won't come to us. That's a shame. He'd have been a really good player. You never know. If his contract expires, he might be more willing to come to us. Now they're out for a bit. Right, so we've gone from Dundee to Dundee United. We ain't had to go far. They're literally right next to each other. The stadiums, Dundee and Dundee United. Um, I watched a YouTuber called Stump Peg. Uh, very, very uh, knowledgeable woman on football. Very, very smart woman. Um, very entertaining as well. She's quite humble. She's, she's quite. She seems really nice. Proper northern lass by the set by the looks of it. Um, but yeah, I'd recommend. Her YouTube channel, she's pretty good. Stunt Pegs, S T U N T P E G. Uh, yeah, there we go. We've had a decent offer for Medina. We'll get rid of him. Uh, I don't even know why I bothered signing McBurney. He doesn't play for us. He's a good mentor, I think, for the young players. So I think that's the only reason I signed him. And Che Adams, at least Che Adams come on and scored that late goal to beat Celtic. So in a season where we beat Celtic three times at least, maybe more, I can't remember. Uh, I'll have a look in a second. We still don't win the Scottish Premiership, which is really frustrating if, if Celtic win the Scottish Premiership. At least if Hearts win it, at least I won't feel so bad because I'm like, oh, at least it's not Celtic. If Celtic win it again, despite losing to us three or four times in the season, it will be very frustrating. Come on, hurry up. It's all because of this bloody Windows update. Ah. <sighs> Right, sometime today, we'll play the next game. Uh, 
Oh my god, this is just ridiculously slow. What I'll do is, next part of the episode, I will literally just holiday up until the, the up until the moment where we kick off, and I'll just let you know if there's anything that's happened in the inbox items. I think that's what I'm going to do moving forward. Right. There we go. Finally got here. So we've got Tickle and Goal. Ayano is right back. Vivas and Diaz are defence. Backer is left back. Krasnicki and Petrovic in the middle. Coelho on the right. Onahan playing against his former club in the middle. Rue is on the left. Hoy up front. Yeah, Ruiz might not be playing the whole game. Oh, very frustrating. This. Let me know in the comment section if you uh, if you agree with me how frustrating it is. All right, there we go. Celtics playing Rangers today, so that might work out in our favour. And who's Hearts playing? Hearts playing Dundee. Yeah. Yeah. Right, Dundee with the ball. Nicely done there, Iano. Good defending there by Coelho. Oh no, that was terrible. That was terrible. Tickle, you are getting told off in a minute. Right. He won't let me do it. Annoying there. Let me do it. There we go. Great. You're getting a tenner off, mate. Celtics winning 1 0. Great. Tickle will be coming off at half time at this rate if he carries on. Alright, let's give the players a bit of encouragement. Oh, hard to win it. Okay, so this is disaster for us. We need to win this game to keep ourselves in the mix. By the looks of it, we might not. If we get an equaliser in this highlight, then it might be different. But we might lose the ball and they might score. We don't tend to do well against Dundee United. Them and Hibs are usually the teams we lose against. Tickle, don't mess up again, for God's sake. Oh, Jesus Christ. We're just waiting for them to take the ball off us. Oh, great. We're giving them a penalty. Great. <sighs> Not even worth looking at this. We know what's going to happen. Yeah, what a surprise. Penalty awarded. Like, it was never going to be not that. Come on, Tickle. Go from zero to hero. Ugh. Tickle, you disappoint me. Rojas is coming on. In the second half. Right, we need to get get back in this game. Oh, Hoyland, you would have scored that usually. I can't wait to get a new computer and a computer desk. Oh. If anyone has any recommendations on computers or computer desks, please put them in the comments section. I would appreciate it. I've got a budget of maybe... One and a half, two thousand at the most. Uh, Hearts winning three nil. Celtic are winning. We're losing, so we can kiss goodbye to the title and probably second place. This couldn't be. This is the worst results 
ever for us. We've completely balls this up now. Dundee's got one back, but <laughs> listen, I can't imagine they're going to get back in that game. Dundee United with a free kick here, they'll probably score the third goal. We really do seem to... We beat Celtic three games in the season, but we lose to Dundee United. That makes sense, does it? We even bought their best player just to flip in, uh, just to make them a worse team, but yet they're still beating us. Have I got to just sign everybody from Dundee United? All their best players, if possible. I'm going all out in the summer. I'm going to be signing some big players in the summer. I'm going to, if it's going to be my last season in this save, I'm going to go all in, and I'm going to be fucking. I'm going to be trying. To, sorry for swearing. I'm going to be uh, trying my best to throw everything to win that title. Because it'll be my last chance to try to win it. Oh, let's just get this game done now. We ain't going to get back in it. Oh, nearly scored another one there. Headed out there nicely. Rangers could at least get an equaliser, couldn't they? At least Dent Celtic's chance of winning the whole. Can we just finish this game now, please? It's very depressing. Oh, good overhead kick, though. Shame wasn't on target. You don't see them on here that often, these overhead kicks, so that was good. Right. Wait for this to finish. Processing some time today. Yeah, we're third. We are not going to win. Then again, if we beat Hearts, maybe. Can we get second place still, technically? So, if we beat Hearts... Uh, hold on, let's check first how many games we've got. Yeah, so we've got Rangers last game of the season. So, if we beat Hearts... We're back up to there. Who's Celtic playing in the next two games? Celtic's got... So they beat Rangers, which is probably the hardest team there to play. So yeah, they've got Hearts as well. So you never know. If we beat Hearts and Celtic beat Hearts, Celtic will win the title, but we will get second place, hopefully. If we beat our, if we win against uh, Rangers in the last game of the season, we'll get... I think we've got... I oh know they've got a better goal difference. Uh... Yeah, that's annoying. Ah, right. Uh, let's have a look. Da, 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 da. Two seconds. Yeah, so what I'm going to do then is I'm going to split this into two episodes. So I'll uh, be back tomorrow with the next part of the episode, which will be the final two games of the season and the end of the season summary. So yeah, anyway, I'll be back tomorrow. All the best.